guys welcome back so today what we're doing is um, this is part two to the uh, ornament video that I posted the other day I know I said I was gonna do this part um, later in the day but uh, when I got back home the ornaments weren't dried all the way and to be honest I was just exhausted so um, that didn't happen but um, we're gonna do that now and uh, I'm using my laptop today to record this video, so hopefully this works how I'm hoping it is. Um, and that means I can use my phone to uh, pull up the images to work with. So let me get my phone. There we go. All right, so this is Snoopy, where I start with Snoopy first. So I'm going to set this to the side so I can see it. I'm just going to do his head. Um, and I think you can see the Grinch one that we were working on uh, sitting there as well. Um, I went ahead and I painted some more um, ornaments. Uh, we did some yellow ones and then I did a uh, green and a blue one so we're gonna finish doing um, the Pokemon set that I was working on uh, we did Charmander the other day if you remember and um, we're gonna do uh, Pikachu Squirtle and Charmander today so I have my white ornament here Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to use the webcam. There we go. Not figure out how to use it, how to position it is probably the better way to say it. Because I think I actually have it sideways to how I am sitting, which is, yes, accurate. So I gotta keep that in mind. But, um, alright. So, out. We have a cameo from my cat. Ignore her. Alright. So I got everything organized the way I want it. Um, again, for black today, um, unless this runs out, I'm using my black acrylic marker. Um, this runs out, I do have to walk away for a second and get my black paint, which isn't far, so it'll only take like two seconds. Hopefully this doesn't run out. Um, but anyway, we got that. Um, I also got a gold acrylic marker. Um, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be using this. Um, it is just in case I decide to add a little gold pizzazz to anything. Um, I've got my um, man, I forgot the name of these. <laughs> got my fine detail paint brushes. Um, they're called the Nike Pro, Nike Pro. Don't know how to pronounce the uh, brand name for those, but this is the ones I use for you know all my detail work, my detail brushes. Um, we got an Exacto knife, just in case. Remember the blade is sharp, so be careful with that if you use it. Um, we also got a pair of scissors. Uh, we've got yellow paint. It's a uh, medium hue. Or, I'm sorry, Deep Yellow, not medium hue, Deep Yellow by Artist Loft that we got there. Um, we've got our Gorilla Glue. Um, I've got red paint from Artist Loft. I got some other colors over here. We got white as well. I might try to patch this spot up, but I think I should be able to put a Santa hat over that. Um, got the Santa hats from Amazon. We got the green boa for the Grinch, ready to go. We got my Christmassy ribbon, most important part, cup of water to clean the brush off, piece of paper towel to dab the brush on, and I think we are ready to get started. So let me bring back up my Snoopy. There he is. So we're gonna do a profile view of him. And 
I'm thinking I'm gonna have to paint that spot yellow because or not yellow, white because the way I like to draw on these is so the seam isn't visible. And this is the way the seam is invisible. So yeah, that's uh what I'm dealing with right now. So we're gonna start with the marker and you can use a pencil if you wanted to like outline this first. Um, the problem with that is if you were to erase it, it would probably smudge a little bit. Sorry, adjusting. So um, keep that in mind. So we're going to draw his ear here. And Snoopy is a pretty basic um, looking character, so he's pretty easy to uh, draw. Um, and I couldn't think of how to make it so that his uh, you know, nose and everything looked right once I had it, you know, all made. Alright, so we're gonna do that and we're gonna end it where his collar is. So like that. Alright, and then we're gonna make a circle inside his ear for his spot. Alright, we'll just color that in. And it's okay to have a rough color because if you look at how Snoopy is, you notice that it that's how he is. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do his eye. Remember you can always make it bigger, so start small, work your way up. And I realize this is not the best looking Snoopy in the world, but I think it's still gonna look cute. Alright, so there's his smile. So now we're gonna do his nose on the front here. Alright, so there's my Snoopy. He's again not the uh, most attractive looking Snoopy I've ever seen in my life, but it works, it's Snoopy, you can tell what it is. And if you're going to be doing this for like a handmade gift type deal, it, it works really well because you can tell it's handmade. You know, you can tell um, you took the time out of your day to make something nice or just unique for your family member. So um, again, the plus with the markers is it dries super fast, so this is already dry. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish this one. And then we're going to move back to um, doing the Grinch. So we got that on there. I do want to add, I think, a, well, it might not look very cool with the Santa hat. But I have all these Santa hats. So I wanted to try to use them. So I think we're going to. I think we're going to do it. Because though it's not like fully on his head, maybe I should have done that first <laughs> and seen where it would land. But I think it would still look kind of cute. Maybe not. But it does cover up that spot that I missed that is bugging me right now. I guess I could have done the back side. Yeah, anyway. Um, no, we're not going to do it because I have... Um, and I'll show you here in a second. I poured, pre-poured one of the uh, yellow ones, or the yellow ones that I was going to use for uh, Pikachu. I did two of them, um, and I made one of them Charlie Brown themed to go with Snoopy here. And I did that off camera, um, mainly because it's what I did with it was a very, very simple design. So it's, uh, it should be very simple for you guys to duplicate if it's something you want to do. Alright, so I think that'll work just fine for uh, covering up my oopsie there. So we're going to bring Charlie Brown over here. So see, what I did with his is I just drew, I made it like a shirt. That was all I did. Um, 
Unfortunately, my two yellow bulbs that I did fell together and kind of stuck, so I have this weird little spot there. But it's nothing that's going to really bother me too much, so I'm just going to ignore it. We're going to put the top on it. And this is where I have to decide what type of, oops, I touched the white paint, uh, what type of ribbon I want to put on these ornaments. Um, I want them to match. So, and I don't really want to put like two Christmassy of uh, ribbons on there, even though it, they technically are like Christmas ornaments. Um, so I've got this burlap string or ribbon, and this is what I'm going to use. So measure some out. You want a nice sharp pair of scissors to get a nice clean cut. Otherwise the ribbon frays. And you can also, with an adult present, if you are a, a kid doing these ornaments, uh, you can also use a lighter or some type of flame to melt the edge together. Or melt it. So it won't fray. You just want to tie your knot there, and voila. It's cute. I think most people, as long as they're true fans, will understand that that's Charlie Brown. And we'll see that this is Snoopy. I am going to put Snoopy in a cup so he, the top of him can dry before I put the uh, ribbon on him. So we're going to set him there, and we're going to set him aside. Charlie Brown can go over here. All right. So next, we are going to go back to the Grinch, and I have two others here that I'm going to add. Um, sorry, I keep knocking the table. Um, I'm going to add the yellow eyes too, so we're going to do that first, and then we'll move back to the... Uh, one that I painted the other day. So let's go ahead and add his eyeballs here. I think I kept calling them his pupils the other day, and that's not what they are. He's literally got yellow eyes. I don't know how, how many of you have watched the Jim Carrey version of the Grinch, but they also gave him yellow eyes. Fun fact. So whatever creature the Grinch is, they have yellow eyes. Maybe he's like Bigfoot or something. Kind of similar. Similar species. I don't know. Anyway. Mm. I guess they have a Polly Penny eyes. Alright, so there's that one. We can move him out of the way. Put that one there. I don't know if you can hear the TV upstairs. Hopefully not, because it is South Park that's on. That was a lot done, and uh, yeah, I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about South Park. And also, if my cat hops up on the table, please ignore. I will try to move her out of the way. But sometimes she's just a little pain in my butt. Although it doesn't sound like her, it sounds like one of the others. There's total four cats that run around this house. We already had an appearance from mine. And let me see which one is behind me right now. Oh, yep, still mine. Alrighty, so we are back with this Grinch, 
And I'm going to grab the one that I already did because my phone keeps shutting off on me. Batteries low and all that. Yeah, that's how you get sat on. Okay, so here's the one that we already did. Or that I already did. Um, so anyway, let me grab it. I did this earlier when I was doing the Charlie Brown one. And uh, it worked so well that I'm doing it again. Help you see what I'm doing. That hat makes him so top-heavy. So he just kind of doesn't want to stand up. Sabotage. Part of the uh, creative process. There we go. All right, so we're gonna take my black paint marker and we're gonna outline his eye. Oh boy. Go nice and slow, just in case your hand slips or something. You don't want to accidentally uh, make any weird uh, little marks on them. Although, again, that probably helps with the uh, handmade look of the ornament. Alright, so now we're going to outline the other eye. Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So we outlined that eye. Now we gotta add these little lines on the outside of his, this eye. I already did it on the other side. If you saw me. Um, Alright, so now we're gonna add his pupil. And I do mean pupil this time inside of his eye. You know, really, the yellow eyes just make him look that much more evil. Like that, that kind of looks creepy, don't you think? Alright, so next we're going to do his nose. And it's kind of a cir half circle shape or a C with a line at the bottom. And the image I used had like a line in the middle. I don't know. It works. Next we're going to do his eyebrows. I'm just going to keep knocking things over. We're going to we're gonna do it like this so I can see what I'm doing. They're really long and they're squiggly. But not like lightning bolt squiggly, so keep that in mind when you're doing it. Next for his smile. And this should be easy to keep him up, because watch this. Oh, nope. Anyway, I don't need that anymore. So for his smile, you kind of start down, and it's nice and big. Remember, he's got a nice wide smile. Kind of like Jack Skellington. Do kind of two curves at the end of his mouth there. It's got a really crookedy smile, really evil looking, or not necessarily evil, but mischievous. Let's go with that. So then a little line there. And then there's a line there to kind of emphasize the middle part of his lip. So there you have it. The Grinch. And again, I find it a lot easier to use um, an image on your phone, laptop, whatever. Uh, you can even print it out too so you're not like wasting electricity. But then, you know, you have the paper and ink situation that you're using. So there's that. I 
got some hot chocolate down here, so we're having a good old time today. All right, so next, I'm still letting those dry because the uh, it's way easier to do this with dry eyeballs. I did this one and the one that I sold already um, without the eyeballs being dry, and you can just kind of see the pupils just don't look as nice. So, but anyway, we're gonna move him out of the way. We're gonna grab the topper for this. And I'm gonna finish those other two off camera so you don't have to watch me do those. All right, so now we're gonna need to put his hair on. So you wanna take your boa and kind of put it in one spot on his head wrap it around and feel where it meets that's how much you need so cut off at that spot again really sharp scissors these are sharp scissors but they're still having a hard time going through so and there will be green feathers just kind of flying everywhere once you cut it so again keep that in mind Alright, so we got our gorilla super glue. Um, maybe I want to put the hat on first. Or maybe glue this on the inside of the hat. Because this guy's definitely getting a hat. I think we're going to glue it onto the inside of the hat. And yes, that's going to make it not work with the way I just cut it. But in the end, it's still going to work. At least I think. Mm. I think it still works just with having the Santa hat on him, but... I like the green fuzz too, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that. First I'm going to I have this sparkly green ribbon that I've been using for him, so I'm gonna stick with my theme here. Looks like I got some blue paint on it, but oh well. We're gonna use it anyway. Alright, so we're gonna tie his string on here. Because um, I decided, and I can grab that Jack Skellington that I did yesterday or the other day, but um, I like the hanger here thread through the hat, not um, wrapped around it. I think it just works better. All right, so we're gonna put or go to the, the back of his head. We're gonna put the bow on. Get a dollop of glue. Hold it there for a few seconds while the glue sticks. I don't know how well this glue is gonna work with the boa. That was kind of my problem I was having. I think it worked just fine. All right, so now we're gonna come to the side of his head. We're gonna add some more glue. All right, and we're gonna pull the boa nice and tight around, hold it. You gotta do it in small sections so you can hold it on there and it sticks. I'm hoping to not have to use, because um, on the other ones, and you can't see it because of the way I did it, but um, I used some ribbon to kind of secure the boa onto the glue. 
so it would dry. Because this bowl is really a pain in the butt. Just, I'm not going to lie. It really kind of sucks. Like, it, it, it looks wonderful. It really does. It adds that nice, you know, grinchy feel to the ornament. But it's just one gigantic pain in my butt. dog falling over. Alright, let's see. Nope. Of course it doesn't want to stick. So we're going to get some of this industrial glue. Honestly, I don't know which glue works better for this. Because the the Super glue seemed to work just fine for uh, starting it off and getting it this far, but for getting it to end, it just does not seem to want to get the job done. And I should also mention, if you're using this industrial glue, keep in mind that it does not dry clear. Or maybe if you get one that says clear, this one says white, so maybe I should have known that it wasn't going to dry clear. But, you know, you live and you learn. Alright, that seems to have gotten the job done. Nice. And there you go. And once you have that on there, you can certainly leave him like that. I think he looks adorable like that. Or, if you're me, you can add the Santa hat. I think we're going to add the Santa hat. Because I do... I don't know. No, we're not going to do it. We're going to leave him alone. We're going to leave him just like that. So when I do those two, I'll put one a Santa hat on one, and I'll leave one like this. Because y'all know this looks awesome, too. Anyway, so there's the Grinch. Um, if you still have trouble putting the boa on, you can uh, tie a ribbon nice and tight on the top and just kind of tuck it underneath the hair. Thankfully, it's crazy enough that you can't see it all that well. Alright, so we're going to move him away so he can dry because he is done. Alright, and we're going to move on to... Let's see what we got here. Alright pull out the blue one. We're going to do a Squirtle. So let me pull him up on my phone real fast. Alright, and you can find pictures of literally just their face on Google, and that is what I use as my reference. Um, if you do like an image of them, it's kind of like in a 3D effect, so you kind of have to like modify the way you draw the face on and stuff and this is just easier all right so we're gonna do the same thing we did with charmander we're gonna start with our black paint pen and we're gonna draw his eyes and i did do a squirrel before but for whatever reason i cannot find him He's got nice rounded eyes. He looks a lot more friendly than uh, Charmander does. I don't know why, but he does. Maybe because he's a turtle. He's in the water all the time. He's just happy. So now for his mouth. And again, you can always use like a pencil first if you would like to, to sketch this out. 
I don't really care for the small like mishaps I can get when I do it this way so it doesn't bother me I like again I like the handmade aspect of doing it this way so I'm just leaving the area blank that his iris is or that you can see the color of his iris just because I think it's going to make my life easier. It might not. But that is what I'm doing. Alright, so there's that. That looks really derpy. But, you know, we're gonna just go with it. Alright, so I got the same kind of whiny color that I had yesterday along with this pink color. And we're going to paint his mouth. I'm gonna start with the lighter color. And again, the or for those of you that didn't see the video the other day, these ones are mixed ready to pour actually. Um, but I had them left over from a project I did and I just haven't been able to use them yet so I'm using them here. They're close enough to the right shade that I need. And I figured might as well. It still works like normal acrylic paint would. It's just thinner, obviously, because I made it so that I can pour it. So you have to do a little bit more coats. Um, those of you that watched the video the other day, you probably noticed that Squirtle, or not Squirtle, Charmander, it appeared on Charmander a lot easier. And I think that had something to do with he was orange not blue so I don't have to like I didn't have to cover up his uh, color that much because you know pink is also one color all right so there's that we'll do the darker color in the corner here so that's like his tongue there yeah see the darker color is working a little bit better or taking less to work. Alright, there we go. There's that. Now we're gonna go back to white. Why did I use white on all red? Oh right, sticky. Ha. Huh. And the white isn't mixed to pour, so that's why it uh, works a little bit better than the pinks are. Sorry, I keep forgetting to look to make sure I'm on camera. Seems to work just fine. So then it looks like they made his eye brown. So I do have some brown here, so we're gonna that's what I'm gonna do. Or his iris. So this is my brown cup. Definitely a more reddish brown than this, but I don't feel like mixing the colors, so 
he's just gonna get brown eyes. We're gonna call it good. Kind of touch up the black there. So tomorrow I'm going to do a Christmas theme pour. Actually, it might be a swipe. I'm still toying with what exactly I'm going to do, but um, for those of you that have seen my unicorn um, swipe pieces um, on my Facebook page, so Mytho Hippo Arts on Facebook, check it out if you haven't already. Um, but uh, on there, I have uh, all the paintings that I've done so far and um, one of the series I've been doing or that I've done is uh, unicorn lore we have uh, summer lore um, aqua lore and pyro so I think we might do um, spirit of Christmas or something like that with the unicorn so you might want to check out tomorrow's video. Um, I'm not sure exactly what time I'm going to do it. Uh, I do have to work tomorrow. Uh, so, um, it'll be after 3 o'clock, um, Eastern Standard Time. And if I did what I did right, I should be going live for it. I think I set up my YouTube channel now so I can go live. Um, which is why I'm using the webcam today to kind of make sure I know what I'm doing with it as best as, poss as possible. So yeah, but anyway, so there you go. There is Squirtle. We're going to let his mouth dry a little bit. I'm going to do a couple more coats on that before I uh, finish him off. So we'll let him sit there for a minute and we will move on to... Um, probably Bulbasaur. Yep, we'll do Bulbasaur. Alright, so, here we go again. We're going to start uh, yet again with the black paint marker. I love this thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get more. Or I need, I'm going to need to get more. But um, I think I'm going to try a different um, brand. Mainly because it, I think it'll work better than this one. Not that this one works terribly, but you know. I like uh, newer brands. So this one is, if you can notice, is this is not the right one. <laughs> Here we go. This is the right one. So this one is a little bit rough to the touch. I guess I have some chunks or something in my paint. This is like a bluish green, kind of gray color. So, I'm going to draw his eyes, and his eyes are more triangular than they are curved. Because he's kind of like a uh, dinosaur. I like dinosaurs. Which is surprising that I haven't done any dinosaurs on any of my paintings, but that might be coming in the new year, 2020. Alright, so there's his eyes, which I'm not entirely happy with, but it could work. It'll work. All right, so his mouth, we got a little, kind of a line here. And he doesn't have an open mouth and the one I'm using, so we're not gonna give him an open mouth. There's that, with his little nostrils there. He's got little eyebrows there. And then he's got like uh, spots on him. So we're gonna draw those out up here. And 
I'm thinking you could probably do whatever type of shape you wanted if you wanted to like make your uh, bulbs or your own. Um, but I'm following the image because I'm showing you how I how I look. All right, and we're gonna use this teal seal to fill in those colors there. Um, this is a Craft Smart paint. If you didn't notice. Um, the craft paint kind of works a little bit better for this than just plain old acrylic paint. Number one, it's cheaper, so you can not feel bad using it for this. And then also, you can get more colors, so you can get a little bit more creative with it versus just, you know, using expensive paint to do something that's pretty simple. Not simple, but I don't know. I apologize if my ba babbling gets a little annoying. I just try to kind of fill the silence. When I get better with my video editing, we will put in some like music instead so you can listen to that. There's his spots. And he's got like a red eye. So we're going to do that. But I'm not going to use the brush I have in the red because it's really big. And this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic that I'm using on his eye. I didn't have any more Craft Smart Red laying around, so this is what I had to use. I need to get some more paint. So I had a craft show a couple weeks ago, and it was alright. Um, wasn't very busy or anything like that, um, but I sold some ornaments and uh, some coasters that I made, and uh, I had a painting commission as well that I did. I also had a commission for a resin piece. I'm not liking his eyes right now. Like They are really horrible. like my acrylic pen decided to not dry as fast as it usually does and that's the problem I'm having. God, I hate it when things don't work the way you are used to them working, huh? Just kind of muscles up your day a little bit. Alright, so let's get the white in here. This will help brighten it up a little bit. If you look at a picture of Bulbasaur's face, you actually don't see any black outlines, but I am me and that's what I did. Alright, turn off your haze. And his pupil is white, so we're going to stick with that. Call it good. It actually looks better in the webcam than it does in real life. Weird. Alright, so there's 
Bulbasaur. Alright, so we've done the Grinch, we've done uh, Snoopy, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur all in this video. Um, I see you have been doing this for like 45 minutes. So we're going to stop this video and then we will do part three. Um, and part three will consist of, um, we will do Pikachu and, um, we will finish off, uh, the Pokemon set that I painted on camera with you guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks you, thank you guys for watching. Um, remember if you enjoyed this video, g click down below, hit that like button, um, also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also ring that bell so you can get notifications when I uh, update new videos and stuff like that. Um, also, if you really enjoyed the video, uh, a share on you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want to do, whatever you'd like to share it on, that would be great. I'm trying to grow the channel um, and it'd be, it, it would honestly mean a lot to me if you guys did that for me. But um, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.